It's always jarring to hear about a child diagnosed with cancer. Kayla Perry is one teenager who got that news about 16 months ago. But that news has her now on a mission to defeat the very disease that is threatening to take her life. For her and her family, this journey is a matter of faith. Brenda Ladon has more. I was diagnosed at 18 with neuroblastoma. Neuroblastoma is a pediatric cancer, and there is very little that is known about it. 19 year old Kayla Perry posted this video on YouTube. My doctor had a talk with me and told me that anything that I wanted to experience or do before I pass away, I should go ahead and start trying to do should this cancer take my life. She's making her journey public in hopes of saving other children diagnosed with cancer. She discovered the cancer while on a mission to Kenya. To um, work with um, people groups in Africa who did not have a voice, orphans, um, people that were sold into slavery. I decided that there was nothing on this earth that would compare to heaven. There was nothing that I felt like I had to do that would be any greater than what I'll experience after I die. So I decided that what was most important was continuing to chase my goals and dreams. She's pursuing her dream of becoming a nurse at Auburn University. While participating in a drug trial in Atlanta every few weeks, she takes her homework to the hospital to undergo treatment. This journey shed light on the fact that pediatric cancer is one of the most underfunded cancers. But at this point, not enough research is being funded to find the answer to pediatric cancer. She knew right away that um, she wanted to do something that would help increase awareness of, of pediatric cancer, but also that would help um, raise funding for pediatric cancer research. We formed a foundation called Open Hands Overflowing Hearts, um, which is focused on pediatric cancers, raising money for research. And they're asking everyone to get involved on the website. They post a challenge. We launched a campaign called 100 Ways, 100 Days. Um, which is intended to help folks find places that they can get involved. And, um, you know, we're hoping and praying for a groundswell of folks that say, we want to get on board, we want to help. It's already beginning. Kayla has people praying for her and her mission all over the world. It's marked on this map. Her video, blog, and new campaign are inspiring. This determination comes from a family filled with faith. They say they're obedient to God's will no matter what the outcome, and they will do anything to end pediatric cancer. I will do anything to end childhood cancer. Anything. 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 What an incredible young lady and family. And you heard them talk about 100 ways, 100 days. Well, here's one idea a local ice cream shop, The Whole Scoop, came up with. They're offering a special ice cream cone. If you purchase it, proceeds go to the fund. And how much has she raised already through oh, all this? This is incredible, Pam. In just 24 hours, $10,000 has been raised. They're Woo! amazed. By the way, James Spann helped. He tweeted and retweeted her video on his website and their website as well. If you want to see it, pass it on. And the website, by the way, is openhandsoverflowinghearts.org. Open hand, overflowing hearts. 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 Dot org. Dot org. You got We're it. Worth going to see it. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.